There has been uh, recent uh, assault. Uh, it is uh, where someone in Edmonton's uh, Alberta, the Chinatown uh, district, uh, uh, the been involved uh, in two in a separate death in uh, Chinatown. So I can't. This is like assault and uh, killing. So a, a third police uh, has arrested a 36-year-old man, uh, believed by homicide and uh, detective, to be involved in two separate deaths in China, Chinatown, in Edmonton, and Alberta. And uh, mid-May. So. Uh, Edmonton police uh, responded to an aggravated assault uh, report at an auto body shop around 4 p.m. and found a 64-year-old man with life-threatening injuries. So uh, they transported him to a hospital uh, where he succumbed to his injuries on Thursday. Uh, and that uh, they... Uh, so... While the 64-year-old man that was, uh, he was uh, assaulted, a second one happened uh, at the 105 uh, Avenue and 998th uh, Street, um, where a 61-year-old man was uh, pronounced dead at the scene. So, yeah. So one injured and then unfortunately passed away. Second murdered on the spot. So first uh, at the water body shop, and then uh, and then now uh, six. The sixty-one-year-old man after that. So the auto body shop uh, is uh, Albert's uh, Auto Body shop. Uh, so uh, the business is owned by uh, Anthony High. So uh, he's the owner. Uh, so the 64 year old man, he was uh, he was an employee, and he was uh, retiring just about then. So. Uh, the person who got uh, injured and then passed away at the hospital, he would uh, yeah, had worked with uh, Anthony Tai for, uh, for more than 30 years. Uh, so he was a very committed person uh, working there. And ever since uh, 1989, so. So. Uh, According to uh, footage of uh, the CCTV uh, surveillance, uh, apparently the the man had uh, turned uh, his back to the suspect before he was att attacked and knocked unconscious. Uh, which uh, Anthony High says, uh, and uh, the, I believe the attack, attack was unprovoked and uh, senseless. Uh, So uh, Anthony had uh, followed the suspect until he, uh, the security team uh, got a hold of the person. Uh, and then literally, uh, same day, uh, and a few days later, Edmonton police also had to be uh, alert to the assault, assault where uh, where the 61 year old uh, man uh, who was uh, murdered after being assaulted on uh, 105 Avenue and 98th Street. Although we're, it's not really clear how they, how they died, uh, there was uh, And the homicide detectives, uh, have, uh, after investigations, uh, say that 
the person is uh, both uh, attacked and uh, and got these uh, two uh, men killed. Uh, it's also uh, Edmonton uh, Mayor Mayor Amarjita Sohith and uh, I am des devastated to hear the, of the violent attack that happened in Edmonton's uh, Chinatown last night, leaving two valued community members dead. I am sending my sincere condolences to both affected families, and I strongly condemn these acts of senseless violence. I've heard uh, Chinatown's call for increased uh, safety measures, and will be working with the community and EPS uh, to find immediate solutions. Finally, uh, Motion that passed on Monday to allocate the funding and resources to Chinatown and the downtown core. So it is like nine. But previously, uh, back in like that 20, 20, 20, 21, there has been a, in Calgary, next city over in Alberta, uh, that there have been a some Chinese uh, people being uh, and black people being attacked by some people uh, on a, a public transit uh, network like uh, it's just the train system uh, not exactly a subway but similar and also that the black community and uh, the Asian community there, yeah, they, they, had, they were also, uh, although no one was actually, uh, was dead, they were, uh, people were assaulted and, uh, and attacked uh, at that time, and unfortunately, this is becoming too common right now, and yes, and even in uh, Canada as well, not just the USA, or uh, Australia, or Europe. It's either uh, North America or uh, Europe or Australia. So, at least Edmonton police are doing something about it. Because if something is not done about it, and for the community in Edmonton, and uh, this could uh, just affect it just about anyone else uh, who, no matter regarding uh, what your uh, race is, uh, it could be uh, just about anyone, no matter who you interact with. And also for uh, dis discrimination, uh, also something needs to be done about that as well. So. Good that Edmonton Police Services are doing something about it. And it's just unfortunately that some people although this is not, not shown to be a racial uh, motivated attack, it could be, but yeah. Unfortunately, these things happen. So please uh, support the Asian community. Uh, report any uh, attacks or any problems that may happen that where the Asian people are being uh, victims about it, and uh, support the uh, Asian. Uh, report anything to the police. Uh, support Asian uh, that you know. So if you see any problems, uh, physical, violent, verbal, cyber, report it. If you have video recordings of it, please share it because uh, the more proof you have, that the better it goes. For any reports regarding that, uh, and to support Asian, uh, use the hashtag StopAsianHate. Thank you.